What's up, everybody? I'm Super Beast GN. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing um, kind of uh, this was suggested to me by someone in uh, in the comments. They wanted me to do a food fight, Oni Cult Anvil, and Skrelv's Hive, and uh, it took me a while to get this you know to get this going. Um, it's been pretty tough trying to find the right cards. I still don't think the Obnixilus is okay, is the best in this deck, but uh, we'll talk about it. Uh, so it's basically a uh, Rakdos sacrifice, but with Food Fight and Skrelv's Hive. Uh, so if you don't know, uh, Food Fight is a one in a red enchantment. It says artifacts you control have pay to sacrifice this artifact. It deals damage to any target equal to one plus the number of permanents named Food Fight you control. <laughs> so if you have one on the field, you deal two damage. Two is three. Three is four. Four is five. You know. Um, so it's it's it could be pretty lethal, pretty fast if you get a bunch of these out. Uh, Skrelv says that whenever an opponent has three or more poison counters, creatures you control have toxic and lifelink. Or, with toxic, have lifelink. Uh, so, if you fling one of your, uh, mites at your opponent or a creature, you'll actually get life in addition to dealing the damage that you would deal with food fights. Because it's actually the creature that deals damage. Uh, it gives the artifact, it deals damage to any target. So, the mites that have lifelink once you get to that point, are dealing their damage. So they deal one plus the number of uh, food, to uh, food fights. And then you'll burn them for two, you'll gain two. You can burn them for three, gain three, you know, whatever, however many food fights you have. And that's kind of the idea with this, uh, this little combo here. And uh, we're also going to use uh, Oni Cult Anvil, so that when we sacrifice one of those Skrelv's uh, mites, we actually get a 1-1 a artifact creature token uh, to replace it. And if we have a multiple uh, Oni Cult Anvils on the field... Uh, we get multiple creatures to replace it. So, like, if there's two on the field and we get rid of one, we get two two new creatures, and then it just kind of multiplies each turn if we keep our Oni Call Anvils on the on the field. Um, in order to get these artifacts out there, to to use these artifacts to enable these this combo, we have Voldaren Epicure and Candy Trails. We have uh, Candy Grapple, go for the throat and Shelter Edict as our removal. Candy Grapple because we can remove, we can actually bargain with this. I know maybe. Maybe we should use another uh, go for the throat, but I like the fact that it gives it negative three, negative three, and negative five, negative negative five. Because if you're going against something like um, Cacophony Scamp or Gruff Triplets, this will actually, when it kills the, uh, those, one of those creatures, they don't get to use their effect because it's based on their power when they die. Well, this is their power will be zero when they die with this card. So I kind of like having this around, and we can bargain uh, a lot in this since we have so many tokens and artifacts and enchantments. Um, we have four Blood Tithe Harvesters, two of Nixilis, so that we can drain our opponents even further. There's a, there's a big drain and burn effect in this deck, uh, just like, you know, the normal, uh, Rakdos Sacrifice. Um, we have three Sheldrids and one of Nixilis Captive Kingpin. A lot of, this is probably one of my, uh, least, pl uh, least basic land decks ever. <laughs> there was one other one. Usually when we're playing in three colors, we, we don't have that many basic lands. We have a few more than we did in the last tricolor deck because we're only splashing white for the Skrelv's Hive. Um, but we are able to use the, uh, Iganjo, um, cause we do have a Plains. We do have a couple other, uh, white lands in here. Uh, Bivouacs. We have Battlefield Forge. We really don't care about the pain lands dealing damage to us in this as much because we do have ways to gain life a lot, and it's usually like one or two life at a time. So it's going to feel like nothing. Sulfurous Springs, Restless Fortress, because that's also uh, Restless Fortress also drains uh, when it attacks. Player loses two life, you gain two life. It's a one four, so it's kind of hard to deal with, especially if you're going against mono red. Four uh, four toughness is pretty hard to deal with. Uh, if they block, you're usually going to kill something. Um, you know, if, if they if they can block, and most of the creatures can't block, so, um, but you can try to kill it. You know, you do do that. You can uh, they can block it, and then uh, you can candy grapple it or whatever. Um, go for the throw, shelter edict, any any of those things. Uh, what I'm saying is, you're going, you're you're just attacking with this thing to drain them. You know, the two life that you gain and the two life that they lose is actually more important than getting that one life off of them. Uh, but if you do hit them in the face with it, it's pretty good too. So let's get into the games and see how the deck does. Uh, but first and foremost, if you're new here, welcome over. Really glad to have you. Uh, please don't forget to like the video if you enjoy. And uh, subscribe if you want to see more. All that good stuff. And let's get into the games. We have Restless Fortress. Uh, I'm going to keep this because we can get uh, Skrelv's Hive on turn 2. Which we got to get that going early. If we want to get it going. 
There we go. And we can actually get a uh, Blood Tithe Harvester next turn. Or a food fight, actually. Actually, you know what? Food fight. Probably. Get set up. Okay. Ooh. Oni, call Anvil. Let's go. So, we need some lands. This is not good, but we've got the setup, at least. Holy crap. Many journeys. Okay. Attack. Um... Get the Blood Tithe Harvester down. We're only splashing white. We sure are drawing a lot of our white stuff that we only have one of. Or, you know, four of, but we have only one card that's with white. Okay. Better that than anything else, really. Oh, God. Okay. I mean, we can candy grapple. Whatever attacks. Oh, they both attack. All right. So now we get this little thing called. Oh. Um. Okay. No. You know what? Let's do this. We can actually kill something. We can candy grapple something later, but we can kill something now and gain life. Because now everything has a uh, lifelink. What are you taking out, buddy? Is it the Oni Cult Anvil? Probably the Kingpin. Yeah. Alrighty. And we gain two life right there? That is amazing. Okay. Do this. Can actually attack. All right. So, what do you think they play? What creature do you think, or what? What? Mm, Gix's command maybe might be good here. We can respond to Gix's command though. Okay. Well, I think we wait a turn, right? All right, let's do that. Let's save the Shouldred's Edict. I'm not going to use it yet. And then put a target creature onto the battlefield, right? Wait till that goes away. Oh, hello. Um, sacrifice a non-creature token. Or a non-token creature. There we go. That comes in. This could get bad. Watch, they just so happen to have all, um, all will be one. Hmm. Nobody knows Dominaria's shadows like me. I'm tired of your secrets. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um Let's see.
I'm gonna attack this. Watch it. <clears throat> He's gonna play the Frexian Arena. Uh oh. Okay. Oops. Yeah, I'll sacrifice that creature. Sure. Alright, let's go with the... Restless Fortress. Next to combat, let's... Oop, no, I don't want to do that. Attackers, we're going to go... And then let's sacrifice this. Drain them a little bit more. Gain some life back. Ouch, ouch, sure. All right, what do you want to do? Virtue of persistence, sure. Probably should have hit with the uh, land, but no, I wanted to keep some uh, stuff open. Okay, let's go. Okay. Actually, I should have done that differently, but what are you going to do? Um, they're going to block, right? Hmm. see what happens here sure I'm okay with that it doesn't have haste I think we just beat him now right okay Yeah, I think we just win, right? Because we can do two damage, four damage here. Actually, we could just probably just win here. Yep, that's how you do it. And we, we're gaining all this life. Oh my god. What? This deck is awesome. We have it all. We do Restless Fortress first, I think, and then Blood Tithe Harvester. Sucks to not have, um... Oof. Alright, let's play that down. Then we can play... Food Fight? Sure. Oh no! I knew you were gonna do that. I just knew it. <clears throat> Well, we have mana, though, at least. That I do know. Let's do a little bit of drainage. So, if they attack me, this might be a scam deck. Cut down, yeah. Too many cut downs, man. Ooh. 
Oof. Oof times five and a half. I think we're gonna get hit here. Yeah. That's fine. That's fine. I wanna keep that. No, I wanna keep that, right? Yeah. Um, not that, not that. <laughs> I need something much bigger, and then we'll be able to use this next turn, maybe. We got a couple Oni Call animals out here. We will uh, be okay. I think I'll take three life to. I don't know. All right. This is a lot of damage that we're taking. Kill one of these, I guess. Yeah, this is definitely a scam deck because, um... Oof. All right. I don't have the black mana for it. Uh, oh man. Um, yeah, I think this is game, man. This is hard with three colors. Um, there was another blocker here. Hey, is it too late for Skrelv? I think it is. Ooh, don't attack. Yeah, I think we should have played Skrill. We should, or we at least should have killed the Evolved Sleeper here. Kill that. Block the 4-4. Four, four. Uh, close your eyes, hope for the best. <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. This is uh, this is tough. This might have been different if I had an extra black land. Um, there's also a possibility. Oh wow, no, no black land, huh? There's also a possibility that um, what do I do? I gain some kind of life, right? And now they're going to kill it with cut down. If they have like cut down, I'm just dead. Mhm. Mm that is game, I believe. But now I don't have anything, but I'm dead, so it doesn't matter. Man, if these had life link that would be amazing. Oh, that's my cue to leave. <laughs> Off you go. As a game. Hit me. Oh, oh, by one. All right. Good game. No red. Looking pretty bad. We find the white in every in every hand, but we don't like we don't find the other two colors. Uh, opponent goes first. No. Mulligan. Got it. Um, crap. Can't play the Harvester or the Go for the Throat. I mean, what are you going to do, right? Oh, never mind. Right on time. If I would have known that, I would have put the Candy Troll away. But Candy Troll's pretty good here, so. Uh, it's going to be green-white enchantments. Here comes Generous Visitor, sure. Let's get our board state up. If he attacks, then he loses it anyways. So, I'm okay with that. If not, we can go for the throat. Here comes an Ossification, probably. Can't be done at instant speed, plus I don't have haste. Yeah, here comes ossification, sure.
Awesome. Attack for two. I'm trying to hold out. Uh, I don't need the white yet. I really wish I had my man up now. That would have been awesome. All right. Well, we took too much damage here. Okay, I'll hold up, uh, go for the throat here, I guess. <clears throat> what do you got? Generous visitor, sure. Hit that. No attacks. Um, okay, so we're looking okay. We're not the best. We're, I mean, we're losing. That's for sure. Now he's looking at the things. Like, how, how did that happen? I don't, I've never seen a food fight before. <laughs> Calyx, sure. I will take two more. My life is not in that bad of shape. Kill that. Bring that down. Kill that. Play Candy Trail. Scry 2. Um. Only Call Anvil is pretty good. I think I might hold on to it and attack with the Fortress if he does nothing. If he doesn't have anything here. Hmm. I'm actually gonna do it. You know what? I'm 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 a crazy man. We need some health. We get a we get a creature. There we go. That's pretty good. Attack in. Okay. See it to believe it. This is a scary matchup because green white enchantments. Are you serious right now? Okay, but he can't do anything with it, right? And then it goes down to a two again. So let's do this. Kill it. And now we will have two, ha ha ha, two artifacts. And we will wait. We can also kill something that's two uh, two toughness or less. So if they put on another Calyx, they make it a three three. We could just um. Hey oh, thank you. <laughs> that's awesome. That is awesome. Got Bloodfell Caves. Scrubs five on turn two. We gain a life. We lose a life. Ooh, hopeless nightmare. All right, what do we want to get rid of? All right, let's just get rid of that for right now. Ooh, Abby boy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, and then we can food fight. Mm hmm Okay, but like 
to be honest, <laughs> I'm getting I'm getting like land screwed here, right? Playing 24 lands in here, Johnny Combat. All right. Okay, nothing else. Mm-hmm. Playing Anvil. You might attack him with every everything this turn. We we always are gonna have a uh a Skrelv might. Bro, just like get off of it, you know? No, I tax him with everything. We're on two mana here. Okay, I, I have to block one of these. I have to block. All right. Well, what do I do now? I have no mana. If I get one more mana, I can play Voldaren and Food Fight. Oh wow. Um okay and okay. Get rid of those two. Wow. Thanks for the land, guys. Mm-hmm. Not that that's gonna help any, but I can block these two. Okay, he has nothing. I'm gonna take one, maybe two here. Does he have a creature in the graveyard? Did I get rid of two? I only got rid of one creature, right? Yeah. Pass the blockers, boom and boom. Can I get a land or something, please? Oh, um. Let's get rid of that, see if we can get a land. Oh, a tapped land, nice. Love it. I love that for me. Tapped Lizand. Um. Nope. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter which one they can't block anyways, but I'll take one that's tapped. Yeah, I'm just dead. Yeah. We got stuck on lands for, or stuck with no lands for too long. It is what it is. I don't think any of this is good, but we'll see what happens. Uh, we're gonna go Candy Trail first, because I do need to, I do I, I need a swamp. Never mind. Still gonna do it though. Still on the plan. Oh. Um. Three lands. Honestly, I don't think this is a food fight game. I really don't. But I could use the Candy Grapple just in case. They do have black and... I'm gonna play uh, Epicure next turn. Bloodfell Caves into Epicure. Maybe it sticks. I don't think they're gonna waste a... I don't think they're gonna waste a... Uh, yeah, a counter on that. <clears throat> Alright, you're gonna flash in your uh, your fairy. Probably. They are on full control then, unless they have actually something they can use at instant speed. Okay, 
That way, if they play the Sleep Curse Fae, I can just use the Sheldred's Edict on it. Okay. What do you think I have? Two? How do you know? Do I want to do this at all? No, I don't want to do this. Non-token creature, sure. Back again. All right. 300 turns and they're at 17. <laughs> Kaito. Well, that's going to suck, but what are you going to do, right? Maybe he blocks my Epicure. Like, I don't mind losing an Epicure to a block, you know? Okay, get some life back. They can attack. We can go for the throat something. I don't need to worry about taking one damage. I think we're gonna be fine on that on that front. Thanks. I'll be taking we'll play another one of those things. Um. Oh, I think he's definitely gonna. All right. Hmm. All right, yeah, if you're going to waste it on that, sure. You're good, but I'm better. Hmm. Okay, yeah, use your spells on that, sure. Did I already use this this turn? No. It's fair. It's some kind of fairy deck with Kaito for some reason. But he's like done nothing to us, right? Because we keep gaining that one life. All right, draw your card. Live your life. Live your best possible life, please. I would love to see that. There we go. I was hoping you wouldn't notice me. What you got? All right, they can kill this with a cut down if they even run cut down. Uh, fairy fencing, sure. I should have done this in response, but that's my bad. You know what? I can do this. Haunted Ridge. Put down the Blood Tithe Harvester. The little one is futile right now. <laughs> oh no! Not another one. Leave it back. My turn? Sure. You, he has the counter spell, but he doesn't have enough fairies on the field. He's mad right now. Ooh. Okay, um... Let's gain three life and draw a card here. Noise. That'll be cool next turn. If I get a land th with that into sh oh god, okay. Ooh. Hello. How are you today? Get in, get out. Thanks. I'll be taking that now. All right, it's a land, but I feel like we're getting this out this turn. If he wants to block the, uh, yeah. If 
he wants to block uh, the, the Blood Tithe Harvester, I'm okay with that. Alright. Hmm. What you got? I have got no answers for what you're doing. Yeah, I'm just going to do that. It's the draw. Maybe it's another Sheldred. I don't know. I know something you don't know. The anvil is kind of hard to deal with once it's in this position. Especially if there's two of them. You got absolutely dog dick. All right, cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> of anything that comes in untapped. Well, I think we. Oh, they go first. This mono red. Oh no, dog. Oh, it's not mono red. Dude, why is I'm, why am I going against so much like mono black today? Comes underdog. Oh no, he's gonna power it up. What I like about going against the Evolved Sleeper is like they usually power it up first, and it's like so they don't play anything else. They don't commit anything else to the board. They might play another one. Have two on the field. That might be bad, but if we play this next turn, we play the Bloodfell Caves into Epicure and Candy Trail, or we play the candy trail first just to see what we get and if we want to scry again we can with two candy trails new plan That was my new plan. <laughs> Alright, here comes Sheldred. We have removal in the deck. We're not seeing it. We're just seeing all this, but that's fine. Two Scrolls Hive, we're just, we're just dead, you know? Okay. Wow, thanks. Thanks for all those Skrulls hives. Right, play Candy Trail first. Would it be possible, and I'm just saying, if I could get, um, ugh. I do need it. Um, definitely have to play one of these. See that, and then we can, we can get rid of one of these scroll hives. I know Sheldred's Edict. Um, Fortress? No. In the turn, we can we can um, get the Edict in our hand right away, and then draw something else. Here comes Shelly. Do they want to pay the three to draw? Or do they have something? I, I would assume they have something better in their hand. I mean, four cards? They could be saying the same about me, but a lot of have scroll size. If they didn't do so much damage to me, I would, I would have put these down, but... 
And then we start getting, uh, I have no blockers though, that's the problem. Okay. We go drawing the card, losing a life, sure. That's kind of good for us. Not, I mean, not the drawing the card part, but the losing the life. Pass to attackers. They're going to save the, uh, the removal spell they just drew for something better. Something bigger. What you got? Oh, they definitely have. <laughs> they definitely have a cut down. Let's go ahead and uh, do this. Sacrifice a non-token creature. We could put the stops on their upkeep because we want them. If they're gonna if they're gonna scam it back in, it's not gonna have haste. It won't be able to attack this turn. If we did it last turn, they could scam it back in. Then it, they can just power it up again this turn and kill me. Okay. They had what it took, right? If they don't commit anything to the board, I'm just going to pop a candy trail. Actually, popping a candy trail, mm, if they put a, uh, a Sheldred of the Apocalypse on the stack, I will respond. Okay. Nobody knows Dominaria shadows like me. Sacrifice creature. Resolve. One of your friends has to leave. Okay. Probably not the best choice you've made. Ooh, okay. Black cleave. Uh, go for the throat this, sure. Can't save it. I should have just attacked with one because then he could save it. Fine. I know okay. I'm not wanted. I think I might want to blood blood token away this uh, Skrelv's Hive. This is not looking great for me right now. Um, I think this is just going to end up being death right here if I put another one out. Although... Hmm. Pass the blockers, block the block the big guy. Alright. We have a bivouac. So I think we bivouac next turn, put a counter on one of the uh, lifelinkers. He could kill it. Mm. Thinking about doing that. We can yeah, let's get rid of this Skrelv's hive. Something awesome. Come on. <gasps> eh. I'll hold on to it, I think. Was this three? Yeah, I will definitely hold on to it. Uh, this is the only white I have. Oh. I can't do it. Alright. Let's just do this, then. I need another white.
See what we can draw. We gain three life out of this. Ooh. We can come back to the game with the Obnixilis, baby. Get a blocker out there, because then otherwise you can kill both of them. Go sow some chaos. We get the life anyways, unless he cuts this down. Defy me, and you'll lose everything. Boy, we were down pretty low too. It ain't over yet though. I mean, if he attacks them, he doesn't attack me. I get to attack him back with three of these. He's at nine poison. Then he's got he's got to like pull off a miracle. He also has the Mitra's Foundry, but he can't do Mitra's Foundry and uh, the Underdog at the same time. So in the same turn, uh, unless he plays one more land, five, six, seven, two. Yeah, I think he can do both if he has a land. Pretty sure. Ashiok. Alright. Block that. Kill one of these. Just for the heck of it. Do you lose the life? <laughs> Your punishment is my entertainment. By what you got? Carnage. Tribute is owed. He might block with one with this thing. Does he really block? Wow. All right. And I get one of these things. All right. We have an Igonjo, Seat of the Empire. Okay. So if he plays this, they get two. Um. That's good. But he doesn't kill my Abnixli. Okay. Yeah, he doesn't have to pay the life either. That's cool. Cool. Yes, that's right. Pay it. Power him up. <laughs> really, dude? <gasps> we just win. Hmm. He draws, sure. My turn. Okay, we're back at 20. I mean, that's nothing. That's I mean, that's not nothing. That's what I want to say. <sighs> All right. Your 
punishment is my entertainment. Next. All right. So I think just with the Oni called Anvil alone, I think we win. If we can I Ganjo whatever come like if we can I Ganjo this or one of these. Yeah, you might want to do that. What'd you exile? A swamp, all right. Like he literally has to take the Obnixilus off the, uh... Oop. He literally has to take the Obnixilus off the, off the field. And he can't actually pay for this because he'll die. Oh, wait. Pay one life. Oh, he doesn't have to. He could just exile cards. That's a cool freaking thing. Um, okay. 246... 789... Can't do this anymore. Okay. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. All right, go ahead and attack. He doesn't kill me, so he might spend some uh, creatures to go over here uh, on the Nixilus. He, he kind of has to, because he doesn't kill me this turn. It's thirteen damage. I'm at nineteen. I will only lose one. Plus, I can only call Anvil. Oh, if I do it now, I'm. Oh yeah, I just win, right? Oh yeah. Oh oh yeah, Tucky. Yeah, we just win. We just win, right? Like, they killed themselves. There we go. So that was the deck. I really do enjoy this deck. It's, um, it's not, I would say it's kind of hard, a little hard to use. Uh, it's not as competitive as, let's say, like a mono black or a, or a mono red or one of the, the, the big meta decks. But I do like the idea that, uh, we're playing, you know, the ever so popular Rakdos Sacrifice with, with Skrull's Hive. Uh, it's basically Mardu, Mardu Sacrifice. Um, I think the Skrull's Hive is really good. I think, uh, it really does. If you can uh, get that to pop off with Food Fight or Oni Cult Anvil, one of those two, it's a good combo with either one of them. I think uh, you're going you're gonna to have a good time with it. Uh, people are always going to want to stay back and block because they don't want that toxic. Remember with these, when it, uh, if you have a couple of these out, you're just going to gain a bunch of tokens and you know you overwhelm your opponent. They're going to get to that 10 poison and, and die from poison even. Um, I did really like the Obnixilus. This is my first time uh, brewing with Obnixilus. So I uh, had a lot of fun playing with this one. But other than that, uh, yeah, it was it was a pretty fun deck, neat neat little uh, little sacrifice deck, and uh, yeah, I definitely enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed it too. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like uh, and you know comment. Uh, what else you want me to brew with next? I'm sorry this took so long to get out, but uh, I I just I was trying to get to a point where I just wasn't losing like five matches in a row, you know. And I think we got there. One or two matches is fine, um, but you're losing every match. There's a problem, you know. So I think we finally found it. And I think the uh, the thing was uh, Obnixilus and uh, Shouldered that you got you kind of have to have those anchor creatures, those anchor cards. You know, no matter what you do, like even if you're making a jank black deck or a jank red deck, you you kind of should have like the big cards. Like Shouldered should always go in your uh, black deck. Um, I guarantee you, if you're going, I'm running a budget mono black deck, and uh, I don't want rares and mythics. I guarantee you, if you just put Shouldered in, you're going to see a big uptick in uh, in, in success in it um but that i i'm pretty sure that's obvious <laughs> uh but thank you so much for watching we'll see you next time peace out and have a great day